A Trump advisor who spoke to CNN on condition of anonymity, remember a Trump advisor, said some pretty negative things about Trump after the outcome of the midterm elections and says that Trump was furious and he ended up screaming at everyone. But he only really has himself to blame. This anonymous advisor to Trump told CNN, quote, candidates matter. They were all bad candidates, referring to the individuals that Trump had endorsed, critiquing many of Trump's handpicked contenders in key battleground states. In fact, a Republican strategist also spoke to The Independent and said this, Tonight's results lie squarely at the feet of Donald J. Trump. Had he not endorsed extremely flawed candidates in the primary, we would be having an amazing night tonight. Instead, we are losing very winnable races. So let's see how bad Trump really did, okay? Are they exaggerating? Is this hyperbole? I'll give you the details, you decide for yourself. The most striking loss for Trump came in Pennsylvania, where Republican Mehmet Oz fell to Democrat John Fetterman in what was the most expensive Senate race in the country. Trump endorsed Oz during the contentious Republican primary, effectively pulling through a brutal primary and narrowly into the general election. And by the way, Trump endorsed Oz. Even though everyone in the Republican Party was begging him not to, they were saying he was a flawed candidate, but Trump insisted and now the chickens have come home to roost. Let's go over to New Hampshire. Former Trump aide Caroline Leavitt lost to the Democratic representative Chris Pappas in what was seen as a highly competitive contest. Looks like the people in New Hampshire looked at her and said, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. In North Carolina. <laughs> no, <don't> <laughs> Took me a second, but I love that dad joke. Okay. All right. In uh, North. Leave, <laughs> love it or leave it. Well, we have our answer. Now, in North Carolina, Trump backed Republican Bo Hines uh, lost to Democrat Wiley Nickel in a race that was widely seen as a test of the former president's influence. And in Ohio, Democratic State Representative Amelia Sykes defeated Republican uh, Madison. Giacetto Gilbert. Giacetto Gilbert. Giacetto <laughs> Gilbert, who bullishly touted her ties to Trump. And then just going back to New Hampshire real quick, in New Hampshire retired Brigadier General Anthony Tata. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brigadier General Don Bolduck lost handily to Senator Maggie Hassan. Sandy Smith, whom Trump also backed, lost to Don Davis in North Carolina's first district. So he didn't do so great. He didn't do so great. But now we get to the best part of the story, mm. which is all these Republican individuals who, again, were lapdogs to Trump before now turning on him. So, so uh, first of all, let's take a look at this super fun Fox News uh, headline. This was a tweet, conservatives point finger at Trump after GOP's underwhelming election results. He's never been weaker. Ouch, and you know what? They put that up on True Social. Ooh, that stings. I guess people are gonna wanna retruth that. <laughs> now on one of these right wing outlets, Rick Santorum had some thoughts about Trump. Let's take a quick look at that. What team do you wanna be on? The team that took a state that was, that four years ago, Ron DeSantis won the state by 10,000 votes. And he won it by 20 points and he changed the entire fabric of it with the same set of issues that everybody else in this country was dealing with. But he was able to do something amazing. Hmm. And I'm looking at the rest of the team, and you know who the leader of the rest of the team is, and the rest of the team didn't do well tonight. We're barely, if it looks like the Republicans will barely take the house. The rest of the team he's referring to is the Trump team. Yeah, I, I love how beta these guys are because- I know, he's, he's a little scared to say it. Yeah, no, but what's great about his fear yeah. is that so he's never liked Donald Trump. Because remember, Trump uh, batted him around in 2016 too. All these guys lost they to Trump. They all hate Trump. Of course yeah. they do, and every reporter and every like re Republican that turns on them says, oh no, no, we've had private conversations with all these guys and they all despise Trump mm -hmm. because they're afraid of him and they're weak and he, and if they even say anything negative, he beats them around and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, daddy, but right? So now that he's weakened a little bit, 
It's like Ooh, the pack the turning on him, yeah. right? Like, like hyenas, right? Yep. But even so, he's like, eh, kind of. The other team, the other team, but don't hit me, Donnie, don't hit but me. But he's like, he's also, he's getting a little thrill out of it, right? Oh, he's for like, sure. oh, it's so dangerous, I'm doing something so naughty. Like, totally, <laughs> I, I, said, I saw it in his eyes. Totally. He's like, the other team, is he gonna hit me? Is he gonna hit me? I think I might get away with it though. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh, are you strong please now, please. Ricky? Is that what you are, are you strong am now? I gonna, am I gonna go for it? Am I gonna go okay, for okay. it? Am I gonna say it? I'm, I think, I'm, I think I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, that's too dangerous. I'm not that naughty. I'm not that naughty, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Finally, uh, there was a thread by Ben Shapiro, and he was a lot more aggressive in his critiques here. Yeah, a little okay. aggressive, okay. Yeah, Better and, and watch I himself. I like it, I like it. So uh, this first tweet isn't about Trump specifically, but I thought it was a good tweet. He says, Republicans widely, wildly underperformed and heads should roll. That was my favorite part of it. The part where he acknowledged that they underperformed and that he wants heads to roll. Now, there is a lot of hope for a Republican coalition, blah, blah, blah. That part I don't care too much about. Let's go to the second tweet. This is the part that's relevant. Trump picked bad candidates, spent almost no money on his handpicked candidates, and then proceeded to crap on the Republicans who lost and didn't sufficiently bend the knee. This will have 2024 impact. Okay, so but. Uh, remember, Ben is one of the guys who bent the knee, right? Because eventually, he, yes. Because remember, he used to say that stuff about Trump back in 2015, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Oh no, I am not going to support Trump. No way!" And then his audience started fleeing, and he's like, "Wait, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, yeah, it's good. I mean, I love Trump. Sure, Trump. Trump's great. Trump's the best. Sure, yeah. I bet he's a really very stable genius. Oh, this is so humiliating, Ben. Super humiliating, okay? And so now, though, like Rick Santorum, he senses a little blood in the water, and he never liked Trump. He's been lying for these last six, seven years about backing him, right? Mm -hmm. So now he's like, oh, yeah, your head should roll. Oh, yeah, what's going on here, huh? You should have a 2024 impact. But if Trump gets the upper hand, and guys, don't celebrate too early. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. This Trump guy is 9,000 lives, right? That's true. And yep. so that Trump zombie can come back. And then if he wins, which is not a, which is still 50 50 at least in a Republican primary, then Shapiro, I guarantee it, mark it down in stone. There you go, get another stone tablet, okay? Shapiro will be back to kissing his ass. And yeah. go, oh, well, he's the best candidate. He's the best candidate we have. Oh, well, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, but he's really great on economic stuff. I mean, yeah. he really loves tax cuts for the rich. So you really gotta support Donald Trump. Yeah, but the, yeah, okay. So I agree with you on that. When it becomes clear that if it plays out this way, that DeSantis doesn't stand a chance against Trump, of course. I mean, they're gonna do what they've already done in the past, which is rally behind Trump, even if they despise him internally, right? But the other thing I wanna mention is that there seems to be this like united front in the Republican Party in like uplifting DeSantis yes, and definitely. trashing Trump. And it's a lot more aggressive and a lot more, um, you know, you'd have to like read in between the lines previously, and it wasn't a united front. Whereas now they just say it; they're pretty explicit about it, with the exception of, you know, Santorum <laughs> in that clip. But yeah, I mean, I, I noticed all sorts of right wingers that are like, for the longest time, looked at Trump as if they were, they saw him as their daddy. Like Cernovich, Cernovich had like a tweet that was like vicious toward Trump, and it's like it's Ron DeSantis's time. Like sit down, old man. He didn't say that, but it had that feel. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh, when the hyenas turn, mm. it is it's great to watch. It really okay. is. It is. <laughs> yeah, and, and so and Anna's right, every level, right? Yeah. So you've got now all of a sudden some of the politicians, the pundits, right wing media, right? And and most importantly, Murdoch. So New York Post uh, putting a picture of Ron DeSantis up and saying, the future. Okay, mm. so they're all trying to push Trump overboard because for the first time they get a sense that maybe we could do it. Maybe if we all banded together and we all push at the same time, we could push him over. But you know what? Like I said, be careful because he could come back. And remember, the voters love him in a Republican primary, not in a general election, but in a Republican primary, he still has this like a super 
you know, strong core of voters yes. that back him. So if these guys lose, Trump's gonna go one by one and and take off heads, right? Heads will so roll. Heads will roll one way or another. So that now, and last thing on this guys, Ron DeSantis is now ironically put in a difficult position mm -hmm. because he can't not run. Every Republican's telling him, Run, you gotta run. Mm -hmm. Now if he doesn't run, he's a coward. Yeah, that's actually a really good point because he's getting all that encouragement and to avoid running, I mean it would be abundantly clear that he's terrified of Trump. And yeah. that's and that's beta. That is beta. And 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 you don't know that you're gonna get this kind of opportunity four years from now or ever again. I mean, you gotta do it when you're peaking. And if he doesn't, that means he's still scared of Trump. That means he's weak. And that I don't think that you can recover from that. So this is make or break decision for DeSantis. If DeSantis gathers up his courage to run backed by all these guys, mm -hmm. then it's gonna be the like 85 to 90% of the Republican Party versus Trump. And I don't know who wins that battle. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.